Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Prey Dogs Unreal Engine VR mod. Now, big thanks to Alex Colon for sending me this, I think, back in December. Now, this thing is nothing new, but it officially came out last December, I think, right before Christmas. So, we're going to be taking a look at it. All right. So, here we are in Prey Dogs GitHub page. If you just Google Prey Dog UE VR, it's going to take you to this page. And all you have to do here is download the UEVR folder. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads page right here and you're gonna see we have a UEVR. And additionally, I have a packaged first person level or instance or Unreal Engine 5 project that I just packaged right now using the Liartis rooftop that I purchased today for 29 bucks. The whole $1,249 deal I went ahead and I am going to go ahead and put it to good use right now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the link in the description below. I have the UEVR right now and all I have to do here is right click and run this as an administrator. Okay, it might ask you to install something that's totally fine. And then for our VR headset, I'm going to be using the Quest 3 and I do have it plugged in via USB. I'm not using it wirelessly, so I have a USB cable and I plug it into my actual laptop right now. So again, disclaimer, I don't have a computer. I'm using a laptop for this demonstration. We'll see what happens. So I have the UEVR app open now. And next we're going to go to my rooftop market, the Liartis one. I just added a first person uh, character in it and I'm going to double click that. All right, I'm gonna remove my hat and then put on my goggles. And this is already set up. I just have to wake up my controllers. All right, pick up the controllers is fine. And I already have my left and right hand, which is good. So what I'll do next is I'm going to press the Windows button and then go back to my UEVR. And I'm going to click the drop down and select Unreal Game Windows right here and just click on Inject. Then I'll put my headset on and wait for it to load and voila, just like that, we turned an Unreal Engine EXE into virtual reality. Now, if you open this for the first time, the show advanced option might not be on. So go ahead and turn that on because we're going to do some changes here. Now, I haven't spent a lot of time on this, but Working in Unreal Engine and knowing the character blueprints, you're going to understand how this kind of works, okay? And I'm going to try not to move my head too much because I know VR, you can kind of get dizzy pretty quick. So first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go to the main under the U object hook because what I want to do is set my headset and parent it or replace it or connect it to the actual character in game. So I'll click on common right here. And we're going to go to the pawn, as you all know, that's our playable character. And the BP is called first person character, because that's the one I use in Unreal Engine whenever I package the game. And then what I'll do now is I'll just, now since this is, now since this is a first person character, I'm going to say attach camera to relative. If you're using something else like TPS, you can try attach camera too. But for this video, I'm just going to say, but for this video, I will click attach camera to relative. Now we're going to get some X, Y, Z values right here. I am sitting down, so I will stand up. And basically in this value here, you're going to have to play around with. To me, this height looks a little bit too high. So I will double click this value. And I'll just say 40. And that's going to bring me down just a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit too high still. Maybe set it to 30 right there. I mean, I'm like 5'3 in real life, so I'm not really tall. All right, sorry about that. I actually paused my quest to here when I was kind of moving around. So here we are in the level in the rooftop from Liartis that I purchased this morning. And technically, we can actually move around in here. And you can kind of see my goofy arm swings. And what I'll do is I will turn that off. I'm going to go back to our menu right here. I'm going to go back to the main. I'm, to, I'm using my controller right now. Go back to common objects. And the uh, BP first character pawn, if I go to components, we can actually see the skeletal mesh component down there. So you can see. So I'm going to press 
my Windows key so I can actually use my mouse. And it's the first, we're gonna try using the skeletal mesh component first person. And I'm gonna set that to invisible. And what that did was actually just hide my arms so we're not that kind of running like a goofball. So as you can see here, if I move, I don't longer have that arm swing, which is a lot nicer. But this technology here really is insanity because obviously there are, we have some Unreal Engine 4 games that are out right now, Jedi Survivor, Pal World. You can use this VR mod with those games. Now obviously it's probably not going to work with every single Unreal Engine game, but all you can do is try. And again, like I've mentioned so many years ago, there's so many games being developed in Unreal Engine 5 right now. You know, more specifically Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, Cyberpunk 2. Like, this is just insane. It just changes the way VR is. It, it just changes everything as far as VR goes. Because I think, again, I'm just guessing here, speculating. I think what it's doing, it's really just swapping the camera with the VR headset, which is insane. So it doesn't really have to render a lot of, you know, high resolutions, which in my opinion is still VR. This is still virtual reality, especially when I get all the hands connected and play like a first person shooter. This is really, really freaking amazing. And for me to do all of this, record all of this on a laptop, and you don't even hear it cranking up a lot right now. It's pretty darn incredible. Now, a couple of things I'm going to be testing out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the 4090 anymore. So I'm curious to know if this is going to be working with DLSS 3. Now, this laptop does have a DLSS, I believe. I just got this check to see which version it is. And um, I'm going to be testing this out with uh, some of the... Uh, packaged files, packaged environments that I have on ArtStation to see if we can work it out. I know it's third person, but I can technically convert a third person uh, character into first person just by hiding it and controlling the hands. So this is incredible, man. Like the stuff that I'm going to be able to do with this here is insane. I didn't even do anything as far as optimizing the scene. It's just the way it was lit and everything else. All I did was remove the cameras and sequencers, but that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. What do y'all think about this Prey Dog UEVR mod that's actually free right now, which is insane. Uh, truly incredible, and I can't wait to play around with it more. Till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.